What's the weirdest thing someone casually told you as if it were totally normal? Oh, my parents fight every day and my father left in a rage this morning saying he was going to jump in front of a train. I hope he comes back before I get home he did before. I had a college professor on the first day of class say that she is obsessed with q-tips and cleaning her ears and that her family has to limit her to three a day. I've had 12 DUIs, 8 concussions and have died twice can't wait till I can drive again. This time I'll take life more seriously, once I get this ankle bracelet off and my license back. I'd quote was the most alarming part of the sentence. A story from a friend in Colorado, someone once asked, could you watch my wolves, I can pay you in weed. There's a lot to unpack in that question. This girl was oversharing her life with me and told me that her dad abused her when she was younger and now she regularly hooks up with her brother. And she wasn't complaining. She said it as it was the most normal thing. That they have six kids, all with different dads each dad is in prison. I worked with someone who had been in the news for driving a car in which three passengers died. She casually mentioned that the mother of one, one thirty, F the victims was very angry at her, and she said to me, I mean, she has other children. Caught my former brother-in-law shooting me he has diabetes and he has to administrate it in his vein, thoughtful face, thoughtful face, thoughtful face. As a kid I used to casually tell people my stepdad liked to go in the garage and film himself getting high and then dressing up in women's clothes and putting makeup on poorly. My mom hated that. Someone was telling me I have nice eyes and they wished they could cut them out to keep them. That they were doing building work at their home and dug up a human skeleton. They, and their builder, decided it was old and didn't need any investigation so they tossed it in the dumpster. Once, an older woman came up to me on the street, took hold of my wrists and simply said they ripped out my afterbirth, and then carried on walking. That he had this much of his penis shot off in the Vietnam War while holding his thumb and forefinger roughly an inch apart. Oh, he was born with webbed balls, he had surgery as a baby, you have to have noticed the scar said about my boyfriend, by his mother, while he was at work. Baby sitting a three yo, during playtime she quite matter of factly tells me that her stuffed dinosaur is very sick and has to live in the hospital because his parents are dead. His wife was pregnant my wife looks like a fat pig all of us just stopped talking to him. You should get a thinner waist. And breast implants too, your breasts are ugly. Also I'd like to sleep with other girls while you watch. My then boyfriend of two years. Nice stream as I was peeing. Concussions aren't as bad as they say they are x35 years old boxer, I've had plenty of concussions. Two sentences later he tells me he can't remember things as well as he used to. My son and I monitor each other's porn habit. Former friend of mine kept all of his used rubbers in a plastic bag for years. You're way cooler than you used to be. Thanks Jillian. Let's just mull that one over for the next 10 years. When I met my ex Mill for the first time she told me, over coffee, that her pills have to be locked up because she tried to kill herself by taking a bunch of them one time. I was on a date and a girl casually started telling me about her prison pen pal. Wouldn't it be funny if he murdered me when he gets out? During my C-section, the ob said, you have a beautiful uterus. That's like one of the few things I remember from that procedure plus meeting my little one. It's easier to bang chicks who used to be fat because they're hotter now but still have low self-esteem. Oh yeah, and I lost 130 pounds so that went over smoothly with me. I've had six abortions. And it was on a first date. A cashier at Target told me her bestie was uninvited to her wedding for calling CPS on her for leaving a gun out where her toddler might get it. But it's okay because there weren't bullets in it. I'm beating you like my father did so you'll be a good person. He can't figure out why neither of his kids will talk to him. You are an absolute smoke show. You look just like my youngest daughter.
exactly which breed of dog he thought was the sexiest. Bragging about being a 36-year-old grandmother with four grandkids, the daughter is 21 and pregnant with her fourth child. Ha ha, I drink rubbing alcohol sometimes. I had a really weird throat issue. It didn't hurt it just felt like something was stuck in there. I had been a vegetarian for years at this point and the doctor said I likely had a chicken bone stuck in there. Wouldn't take no for an answer. I found my mom dead this morning but I didn't know what to do so I just came to school she then continued to do the crossword puzzle the class was working on. She wasn't lying. It still breaks my heart. Walking through downtown KC with my friend back to his apartment and this dude walks up to us. He waves his arm like a wizard casting a spell and just says magic the gathering. We were floored. We wanted to know more. Isn't it amazing how the sun turns into the moon at night? I occasionally tell people about my mental illness. Always a mistake. Several years ago my grandma casually admitted in the middle of a meal at Red Lobster that she smoked the whole time she was pregnant with my mom Lamau. It was embarrassing obviously but kind of funny too. A girl I worked with called out of work and told our manager it was because her herpes medicine gave her vertigo, embarrassed smiley face. 